just gotta begin to chase a dream that is bigger than you. Hi everyone, my name is Sarah. I'm with Kanima Fitness and I'm bringing you a 20 minute open heart yoga flow. Let's go ahead and get started laying on your back and come all the way down and you can begin to stretch the legs out nice and long. All right, from here, you may reach the arms out to the side into a T position or maybe you goalpost the arms and find a cactus shape. First, just starting with a really gentle passive opening across the front of the chest and the shoulders. Good, giving yourself a moment to show up on your mat today, no matter what you have going on outside of the space, giving yourself this time to be present with the body and the breath. Maybe even playing with stretching the fingers out, fanning the hands wide, then curling them into fists a few times. Good, you can begin to rock the head from side to side. Again, staying connected to the breath, full inhales and full exhales. Beautiful, meeting in the middle. Good. From here, let's stretch the arms and the legs out long. Take a nice full inhale breath. And exhale, hug your knees into your chest, giving yourself a nice big hug. Good. You can gently rock from side to side here a few times. Slowly beginning to wake up the lower back. Good. Meeting in the middle. Let's place the feet down onto the mat with the knees still bent. Arms extend long palms face down, and you can give the shoulders a tuck below you. We'll take a smooth inhale breath. And as you exhale, press into your feet to lift your hips for a bridge pose. Good, feet can be about hip width distance apart here. Thinking about drawing the navel in towards the spine and taking full inhales and full exhales to the belly. Slowly waking up the glutes here. Right, glutes are essential for any back bending or heart opening to help to protect the stability and the integrity of the low spine. Good, let's take a nice big inhale and exhale, gently drop hips towards the mat. Good, one more just like that. Big inhale and exhale, press into the feet, lift the hips. Awesome, you can even play with extending the arms out overhead, opening up again a little bit more through the shoulders. Beautiful, feeling the spine lengthen. Let's take another big inhale breath and exhale, lowering everything onto the mat, arms and hips, good. And then from this position, let's heel toe the feet to the edges of the mat and you can windshield wiper the knees from side to side, finding any range of motion that's comfortable here. Good. Back to the center, hugging knees into the chest. You can begin to rock up into a seated position. All right, crisscross applesauce is great. If you love half lotus or lotus, feel free to move there. All right, sitting up tall, shoulders back and down, reaching the crown of your head straight up towards the ceiling. Good, from here, let's inhale, pull the heart forward, pull the belly forward. You can look up if it feels okay for your neck. And then exhale, round out through the spine, lean back and tuck the chin in towards the chest. Finding some seated cat and cows, inhale, lifting, rolling shoulders back, and exhaling, rounding out belly to spine. Good, again, inhale, coming forward, and exhale to round. Beautiful, back through the center. We'll inhale, reach both of your arms all the way up, and then exhale to goal post. Good, bringing your elbows in line with the shoulders and the wrists in line with the elbows. Spread your fingers wide, and then draw the shoulder blades back in together. Really pack them back and down into the back. Beautiful, big inhale, breath, stretch the arms out long, keep them about shoulder height, 
and then exhale, right arm over left for a big bear hug. Good, you can curl the elbows in towards the belly button. Inhale, lift all the way up, stretch everything out, and exhale, this time left arm over the right. Good, inhale, come back to center, stretch the arms out long last time, almost as if you were gonna bring the backs of the hands together behind the shoulders. Good, and then let's drop the hands behind the back, clasping at the fingers here. You're also welcome to grab opposite wrists or forearms if that is more comfortable for the shoulders. But wherever we are, thinking about reaching the heart up, right? maybe dropping the knuckles towards the mat, Beautiful, you can even gently rock the head from side to side a few times. Good, back to the middle, gently releasing your hands and inhaling to reach all the way up. Good, big stretch to the side bodies here and the low back. And then exhale, let's bring hands to the mat and we can move into a tabletop position, taking your time here, setting yourself up on all fours so the wrists come just underneath the shoulders. Good. And then from here, we can begin to walk the hands out in front of you. We're going to take a really gentle puppy dog pose today, just to slowly start to wake up the upper spine thoracic area. You can hang out here on the forearms. Maybe you drop your forehead towards the mat. Good. This is also a great variation for downward facing dog. If you're ever looking for something more restful that isn't child's pose, even though it is pretty similar. Good. And if this feels really great and you feel like you need more sensation, maybe you can think about looking forward, dropping the heart towards the mat, really opening up through the shoulders. Good. Full inhale and full exhale. Press your hands into the ground to lift yourself up and then slide the hands back to help support the shoulders. Good. You can tuck the toes behind you and lift the hips, we'll move right into downward facing dog, shoulders nice and warm, good. And you can start to pedal out the feet here, opening up through the backs of the legs. Good, and then when you're ready, let's step your right foot forward all the way up in between the two thumbs, dropping the back knee down, and we'll lift up into a low lunge on Johnny Asana pressing your right foot into the ground, both arms lifting, and then we'll drop the hands behind the lower back. Again, finding that same clasp position. You can also place the hands on the backs of the hips for more stability. And then we're just gonna slowly begin to lift the heart up towards the ceiling. Again, reaching the elbows and the shoulders back and down, opening up the heart. Good, breathing wherever you are. Good, and then smooth inhale, slowly release. Reach both arms up overhead, and exhale, we'll bring both hands down. Good, left hand stays grounded to your mat. We'll reach your right arm up towards the ceiling, taking a twist, stacking shoulders. Good, arms in one nice long line. Beautiful, big inhale, breath, and exhale, drop the right hand down. Good, from here, switching it out. So right foot steps back to meet the left, and then we'll step the left foot all the way up, dropping the back knee down and moving into our low lunge. Good, take your time finding your balance along the way. Good, really thinking about pressing your left foot into the floor to give yourself some stability. Then we can begin to drop the hands behind the lower back, finding any variation here with the arms that works on this side. Good. Just breathe, big inhale, big exhale. And then smooth inhale, taking your time. We'll reach the arms all the way back up. And exhale, hands come to the mat. Good, right palm stays grounded. And we'll reach the left arm all the way up, stacking the shoulders once again, opening up across the front of the chest. Good, big inhale and exhale, dropping the left hand down. Good. From here, stepping back 
and we'll drop the knees to the mat and come into child's pose. You can widen the knees as much as it feels comfortable for you. We'll reach the arms out nice and long. And again, if we want to open up more into the heart and the back, you can bend the elbows, bring the thumbs towards the nape of the neck. Maybe you crawl the triceps or the elbows forward a little bit more to lengthen. Good. And hands come to the mat. You can unplug the hands. We'll walk them back in towards the body. Starting to lift up onto the shins and the knees. Good, toes can be tucked or untucked behind you. Whatever feels more comfortable for your knees here. And then as you're ready, sitting up nice and tall, reaching crown of the head straight up and lengthening throughout the whole body. Good, we'll start by bringing your hands behind your back here for camel pose or ustrasana. Fingertips are gonna point down. Thinking about wrapping the elbows in like you're gonna touch them together behind you. Then you can start by looking forward. You're gonna slowly begin to lift your gaze to any degree along the ceiling that feels comfortable for your neck. And then gently beginning to lift the heart up, right? Squeezing the glutes. We may, we're not necessarily pushing the hips forward, thinking more about lengthening up and then leaning up and back as if you had a string tied to the center of the sternum, lifting you straight up. Good, wherever you are, you should be able to breathe. That's the most important thing here in this really intense back bend. Good, core is working to help stabilize. Glutes are firing to protect the low back. Good, inhale, let's come back to center. And exhale, slowly begin to drop into a tabletop position onto all fours. Good, and then just take a second to kind of wag the hips from side to side, finding a little bit of length in each side body, alternating from right to left. Good, and then meeting in the middle. Inhale, take a really gentle cow pose, reaching your heart forward. And then exhale, round out through the spine, countering some of the back bending, cat pose. Good, again, inhale for cow and exhale for cats. Taking a few more of those on your own with your own breath. Good. And then when you're ready, you can sweep your feet off to the side. You're gonna bring yourself onto the back, scooting forward as much as you need and lowering yourself all the way down, hugging the knees into the chest once again. And then gently rocking from side to side a few times, giving yourself some low back love after a heart opening. Good. Then you can hug the right knee in towards the chest. Let the left leg come long onto the mat. Inhale, let's lift the forehead up and towards the knee. Good, strengthen the core to help counter some of the back bending. And then exhale, draw the right leg across the body into a twist. You can use a block here to support. You can extend the right arm out. Good, wherever you feel comfortable. Then inhale, let's come back to center. Good, and then switch it out. Left leg comes in, right leg comes long. And then we'll curl up forehead and towards the left knee. Good, finding a nice connection to the core here. Relaxing the head and the shoulders. And then coming across the body. And same thing, twisting here on the second side. Any variation works. Just breathe into the lowest part of the belly. Good. 
it. And then inhale, come all the way back up through center. Hugging the knees into the chest. Good. Nice, good little restoration here. We're gonna do a little bit more back bending just to round everything out. And you're already, again, setting up in that same bridge position we did at the very beginning of class. Arms coming long with the palms face down and tucking the shoulders underneath you. Take a nice big inhale breath. And exhale, once again, we'll lift up into this bridge. You're also welcome to slide a block underneath here if you want to take more of a supported bridge, something a little bit more passive towards the end of class. Good, we'll take about five more deep breaths here. Beautiful, if you're in your supported bridge, feel free to stay. We're gonna do another round so you can keep hanging out on your block. Good, slowly lowering your hips, taking your time, big inhale breath here, and exhale again, press into the feet, good. If you'd like to go for a wheel pose, if that's something that's in your practice, feel free to do so, right? Dropping the hands back in front of the shoulders with the fingers pointed in. Do you just wanna think about wrapping your knees and your elbows in together, drawing everything into the midline of the body, and then pressing into your palms and your feet to lift the front of the body towards the ceiling. Good, this is also just a great prep if you don't have any intention of pressing your hands into the ground to lift the upper body. This can be a really nice way to help stretch out the wrists and the shoulders, the triceps. Good, let's take a smooth inhale breath. And then exhale, bring everything down onto the mat, taking your time here. And then bring the soles of the feet together. Let the knees come out wide into the Supta Baddha Konasana or Supine Butterfly Pose. If you like a little bit more uh, assist, you can bring your hands to the inner thighs to provide a really passive and gentle pressure. Just a little bit of weight here doing your best to relax all of the muscles that surround your hips, the inner thigh and groin area, the glutes, right? This is where you will really start to kind of find a little bit more um, fluidity throughout those joints. Good, and then inhale, gently guide the legs back together. Beautiful. You can keep your left leg as it is. We'll hug the right knee in towards the chest, and then interlace your fingers behind your right thigh and begin to extend the right leg up towards the ceiling. Good, take a smooth inhale breath. And then exhale, you can begin to bend and extend from the right leg, finding a little bit of hamstring flossing here, just finding some opening through the whole posterior chain, right? Relaxing the glutes, beautiful. As you extend up, thinking about reaching and lifting the bottom of the heel up as if you're gonna stamp a footprint onto the ceiling. Good, big inhale, breath at the top. Good, exhale, relax. Same thing, second side. Left leg extends as you interlace your fingers behind the left thigh flexing your toes in towards your shin. Good, take a big inhale, and then exhale, bend. Good, extend and bend. Moving with your breath, moving with control, and experiencing all the sensations along the way. Beautiful, inhale at the top, we'll pause and exhale, drop the left foot down. You can hug your knees into your chest one last time, drawing the forehead in towards the knees, take a big inhale breath, and exhale, drop everything out onto the mat, setting up for our final posture, Shavasana, hopefully feeling a little bit more open across the front of the chest and the shoulders. All right, give yourself as much time as you have here today, whether it's 30 seconds or 10 minutes even, if you've got the time, give yourself permission to rest and find some comfort and stillness. All right, we don't often get this time and you've already carved out this part of your day to be present with yourself. So might as well just round it all out. 
Right, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you're feeling a lot more open now in the heart and the upper back. Right, thank you so much for joining me and hopefully I will see you next time.